Today is Wednesday, day 14 of working here at Coldstone, and we're learning how to dip waffle bowls. We're gonna dip it in chocolate and let it sit for just a second, and then we're gonna put some sprinkles on the outside. Once the chocolate hardens, we're gonna put it away because it's time to help our first customer. She wanted a Lovett size of Founder's Favorite, so we're gonna scoop out our Lovett size of sweet cream ice cream, add our caramel, our fudge, our pecans, and then she wanted pretzels instead of the brownie. We're gonna chop, chop, fold, fold that all together, and then we're gonna put it in her waffle bowl. But I guess she didn't want a sprinkled one, so we have to go undip that one because that was our last one. Be sure you get every sprinkle off. We do not need any sprinkles melting into the chocolate when we take the chocolate off. So once we get all the chocolate off, it's time to go put our ice cream in it. Look how much happier she is. Then it's time to hand that off to the customer. And Reese's peanut butter cups, but with ice cream. It's one of the newest items on our menu. It starts off with a chocolate shell, which we add a layer of peanut butter sauce to. And we freeze that. Once that's frozen, we're gonna add a layer of fresh chocolate ice cream. After we freeze the chocolate ice cream, we're gonna add another layer of peanut butter sauce. And then once that's frozen, we're gonna add a drizzle of ganache on top and then sprinkle it with some sea salt. The last layer is a piece of Reese's peanut butter cup. If you love peanut butter, and you love ice cream, and you love